Yo, what's up everyone? We are back with another Broadway Brews Gaming video featuring Clyde Clutterbuck on his PGA 2K23 journey. Today we have a special video coming. Uh, we are taking on the TGC Tours 3-click tour brought to us by Dolly. Uh, many of you probably know what the TGC Tours are. Um, many have also, there's a lot of debate on the 3-click versus swing path debate personally the way i see it if three clicks in the game i'm going to use it i know it's easier in the swing path but to me why would you not use what's easier um, i understand it's newer to the game but i'm also new to the game so i'm not like set in my ways of playing swing pass uh take it or leave it that's how i'm playing so i know they have the tgc tours challenge uh, like the, their main channel, the main community that they have. Um, but we're going to be joining the three click tour. Um, and the thing to note about TGC tours, if you don't know, is this is like a legit like community. Like, honestly, it's almost like a whole new like game within this game. Um, it's like a new my career almost. They have weekly tournaments. Um, they have updated leaderboards on their own website. They have all their courses and media. They have different circuits you have to go through. Um, but we're going to jump in today and see what it's about. Uh, this is going to be raw footage. I have not seen how this works. I have not played these courses before. Uh, but as you can see, Clyde is now fitted out in alignment with the Broadway Brews rebrand that has gone through. Um, hope you like it. little background on the Broadway Brews gaming channel that's on YouTube is that me and my old college... Alright, wow, the swing timing is fast. So we're going to have to adjust on that. But me and my old college roommate um, have moved away from each other. He is now in Nashville and I'm still here in Milwaukee. Um, these greens are crazy. So we decided to incorporate both Broadway being Nashville, Bruce being Milwaukee, known for their... They're brewing. Hopefully we can get an early chip in here on hole one. We cannot. These greens are fast. This is definitely a higher setting than the pro for ranked, so we're going to have to adjust to that. Almost miss a tap and putt. Um, so definitely probably not going to be as high of a finish as... Um, I think three of them might be able to play here. Uh, just kidding, driver. It's not going to be as high of a finish as the other, the last community PGA event we are in. And just, this, I have never played on this difficulty before. I believe this is master difficulty for three click as opposed to pro, which obviously is what the rest of PGA takes place on. This is no joke. I mean, hopefully we can get up onto that slope and run down towards the pin and not roll off the back of the green, which it looks like we're going to. These greens are quick, I am learning. I don't know why it's going so far. This one to save power. It's definitely going to be a learning process for me, so bear along as we uh, go about this journey, but... There's still some guys shooting low, so hopefully we're going to be able to get... We're going to be able to get some low scores here. That was a solid drive. It's different without being able to see the distances either. Um... That's going to take a little bit of getting used to, definitely. 
That's just really moving. Wow. Okay. Um, beautiful accuracy. Hopefully we can get that to roll in the hole. Just lips out. In for birdie here. It's fine. It's fine. Honda hole number four here, a long par three. I'm gonna hit a four iron, a pretty full four iron, I think, and hope for the best. I'm getting the swing timing down pretty good. Um, it wasn't too much of an adjustment. Um, it's definitely faster. These greens, I mean, it's not even like realistic at this point. Um, get the chip in somehow. If somehow it falls. Jamie, can you roll the tape on that? We gotta see that again. So what we've learned so far, swing timing is a lot faster, and the greens are made of ice. And the ball will not stick regardless if you hit the green or not. So that's pretty fun um, to learn. It's so like in theory, this looks like a pretty good shot, right? But we're going to be nowhere near the green because it rolls 10 extra feet. It's going to miss to the right. And then, again, I tapped and it's almost rolling off the green, so... Get that one to drop in for the par. On to the next. Just, oh, that was a par five. We get the birdie there. We're, we're getting pretty much close to perfect swing timings now, which is which is nice to see. Um, definitely have to be a little more dialed though here. But I don't know, like, why is that one so short? I don't know what this red means. I don't really want to hit it towards the red to figure it out either. But roll over the hole there, a little too much power. Have this for our par. We're in 15th place right now, so I'm not sure how many people actually play this because I'm only three under. But we're gonna we're gonna finish this tournament out and see what's happening. Chipping is definitely the one thing I think that's harder. Uh, I don't know how that didn't fall in. But chipping definitely seems to be the thing that's a little harder than the regular pro setting. Um, oh, this is a scary shot. The thing I do like about this tour, though, is that it's man-made courses, not... PGA official, so it still adds in a little extra challenge and gets new courses all the time, not just basic 2K official ones. Pretty solid shot there, should be able to tap in for birdie, gets it to go. So this could be like a weekly thing we end up doing, um, just keep dropping the weekly weekly tournaments, weekly events um, within this TUC tours Good job. And, we're setting up here about and so. see uh, how it rolls out kick left. pretty big kick there and again these greens I get it's like the master difficulty but like look at this ball roll that's, that's, just, that's just not really realistic this in my very, opinion very I know I'm just going to have to get used to it, um, and it is what it is, but man. Looking super. 
We're gonna get that putt to drop in, which is nice. That's a good confidence boost for Clyde. Clyde, the cowboy clutterbuck. But again, I mean, this is this is new territory. We're still gonna keep the rank grind, this rank grind going. Um, try to get high in that, but I think this is gonna be a weekly thing that we can incorporate into the channel along with the ranked videos on occasion um, maybe a chance at hole in one here not quite I'm thinking for ranked it might be more so my highlights throughout the ranked games as opposed to the whole video um, or just show myself playing on occasion if they have a good shot we can drop we can drop them show them some love too but uh let me know what you guys think how we should go about that because i'm really open to suggestions um if you guys like the full gameplay videos we can keep those coming if you guys like more of highlight montages clips from the ranked games you can do that as well um I'm kind of thinking like my gameplay um, instead of all gameplay might be the move. Here we go, par pot. Let's do it. Get our par pot to drop in. Move on to the next. Good luck. Par five ahead of us here. Uphill drive here. I'm gonna increase the loft and see what happens. Get it over. That's gonna be another big change. The the timing, like I'm I'm getting used to already. Um, but when I increase the loft and that doesn't change, so I don't see the true shot. That's a big change too. Um, and this one, way short. I should have see that thing too. It doesn't show I'm uphill. So it's just gonna, there's gonna be moments where I just like forget it, and space out on it. And don't adjust for it, because this is just showing where my club would land if it was straight, not necessarily accounting for the elevation. Um, but again, that's just—it makes the game a little more realistic. So like this one's way downhill, so I'm going to try to play it to the right of these bunkers, because I think I might be able to reach those with it being this much downhill. Have a slope line. The, the pin looks not that much uphill, but the wind should take it up there a bit. Yeah, I like that shot a lot. Should be in for bird here. Coming up in the f near future, I Good. believe That's Greg, going, who is the the Broadway portion of Broadway Bruce um, is going to join us for one of these and caddy not actually caddy but basically watch my gameplay talk me through shots stuff like that just to incorporate make it more fun for me hopefully more fun for you guys incorporate Greg into Clyde's journey uh, yeah, we'll see how that works out. It's gonna be a little tricky the logistics of getting uh, Him able to watch me live, but with PlayStation share we figure out a way to do it Even though he's on Xbox um, This Like this is what I would definitely go for on pro difficulty And I'm gonna go for it anyways just cuz why not? But I bailed out a little bit because I was scared of that shot, I'll be honest. All we can do here is get up, hopefully trickle onto that slope, and uh, let it sit by the pin. Although that's going to have a little too much heat on it. And knowing these greens, I'm surprised it didn't roll off. Hopefully we can get this to fall. Gonna be just off this is a par putt, I think. Yeah, so I mean we're fine here. Look at our par putt. And you're sitting right 
there at nine under par after that hole. Blowing left to right on this one. So I'm sitting tied for fifth right now, which is pretty solid for the first day on these settings. Again, not a huge change, but small things that make it trickier. Yeah, um, that's gonna work for you. I'm liking that. Cowboy okay. Clyde's having himself a pretty good first day here. Hopefully he can get this to drop. We Long do in. fall, that's see it fall. And hopefully catch, possibly Pope Lo Lolik in third place. Right. Two birdies got. here, we'll see what we can do. Again, tied for fifth here. Have a chance to jump up two spots with these last few holes. Let's see what we can do. Play this safer. Just get it on the green, hopefully. We'll be on with a uphill putt for our birdie. Here we go, birdie putt coming up. Not gonna see this one fall, unfortunately. Wow. This one's a three foot putt. And not sure what happened at the end of that putt, but we get in for par. Okay, after that one, you're sitting right there at the ten under. Sitting in fifth place. Par five here, so still technically a chance for you to jump up into third. But we got here in a top five spot for day one, I'll be feeling pretty good about it. Um, I'm gonna hit the four hybrid here. So we are uphill into the wind. Pretty perfect shot there. I'm liking this a lot. Somehow, if we get an albatross, just misses the albatross, and then we're gonna. F I mean, we have a great eagle look though. You can't be mad about that. I like the chance of this going in. See if we can drop it. We cannot get it. The putting is a little, it's something's off, but I can't really tell what. But we're in for Eagle, tied for fourth. Yeah, so not updated on the final hole. So we're tied for fourth. Into the second one here. Um, and see, see what we're rocking with. This is something really small, and it's probably just me. But it's really bugging me. I can't get a perfect swing on the downswing. Just because I've been getting it perfect on the top, but the downswing, like, doesn't... I don't know if it doesn't let you, but it's really bugging me. That's just, like, a half an inch to the left or right every time. Might have pushed this one a little bit, but it might have needed to be pushed a little more, so it didn't quite get there. We have a par putt. It's alright though, on to the second hole. The guy in first place is head and shoulders above the rest of us. Hopefully, obviously not expecting us to get there soon, but hopefully we'll be able to get there after a few few tournaments. Um, I'm hoping this actually kicks. That was about as good of a kick as I could have got. If I would have hit the pin though, that would have been great, because now we're going to roll way off. Wait, this could roll forever. Yikes. That was really close to being really good. I'm going to hit a pitch here, I think. Um, with some spin on it. Actually, we're gonna do this. Just because I don't want this to be short of the green. Hopefully, it spins back. Yeah, that's play. perfect. Stops on a dime. This is, uh, your look at birdie. Like, this shouldn't be moving at all, but somehow I just know it's gonna break it's out of the hole. the hole. Or not. Sometimes it really is truly straight, which we love to see. I. If I would have made that hole in one, I think. I'm not ever tired. That's the next thing on the on the bucket list for Clyde is getting that hole in one on the par four. This Matt Sharp style. I know some of your good good watchers out there. Shout out to Matt, one of the one of the OGs, one of the fan favorites I'd say. 
I'd like to know what that red means. It's kind of scary uh, when you're hitting about to take your shot and all you see well, is red outside of the. That was nice. Back but I don't really want to do it to see what happens. Okay, let's see what you can do here on this par three. So par three. See what I mean? Like just a hair off, like being perfect on the bottom every time. I really need to start counting for these greens, just rolling for miles. Good job. We're on the green. Okay, this is to go to 14 under. So it's getting kind of ridiculous. We'll love to see this one drop in. Doesn't quite break. get there, man. Here we go. Four, five. Well, I think a lot of these putts will be dropping in pro difficulty like ranked games but beyond this master difficulty shit it's it's proving it's proving to be more difficult in all aspects of the game. Here's our second shot on this fifth hole. This is downhill into the wind though. I kinda of, I don't mind hitting a pretty full three wood here. Need that to sit though. I don't think it's gonna though, because these greens are just gonna roll. It, like that just shouldn't be happening. If it was up to me, it wouldn't be happening. But uh, it's not up to me. We gotta roll with the punches here, and then that's just smoked past the hole. It's better to be short than long on these greens. So I've learned so far. We have par four here. Great swing. It's kind of frustrating. We can't see. Actually, I wonder. About 110 yards from the pin. Huh. I should really be incorporating this book into this thing, huh? So we got 110 to the pin. Good to know. Not that like it really matters a whole lot, just because. I mean, it is. Like even like, we have the marker for where the pin is and the height, but like. Nice shot. Maybe we'll start checking distances just so we have an idea. Why did I not move at all? Just so we know how far the holes are at least. We have a par 3, 125 only, but way down here with wind. I might actually hit a pitch here. I, I, don't, I know I don't hit pitches hardly ever, but this might be a rare scenario where I do hit one. Hopefully I've got to sit. Stick. Like, still it just rolls out so much. Well, you're on the dance floor as it would turn out. Okay, here's your putt for birdie. Hopefully Looking that'll really drop. Good. We get it to so go. Good, so good. It's a big putt to make there. That one, 16 under par. Par four Looking here. We got a on this hole. We're on 380 to the pin. This is a three wood shot here. Nice. That's, uh, some solid Squeaks out of the fairway. That could have been like a soft driver, maybe. Wind and that should negate each other slightly downhill. Wind should push it right back to the pin. I like this a lot. Landing it short is just going to be the name of the game now. So we experienced a server disconnect on my end. So they re-dropped this back in. We're able to sink this putt. Um, we'll move on. The next in that 17 under through eight. Um, let's drive here. Hopefully, that doesn't go too far left into that little valley. We get a good kick and we are chilling in the fairway. And this one's around 235 ish. This is a scarier shot here, but I'm gonna play it aggressive. Hopefully, we don't go into that bunker, but we should be fine. 
catches a piece of that downward slope and it kind of funnels back to the pin. Not quite as close as we would have wanted, but this is an eagle putt, so we are okay with this putt for eagle every day of the week. And we can get it to lip in. Clyde and Baujit, his caddy, holding holding it down until Greg can uh, come come join us for for an event soon. But celebratory after that eagle. Like that shot a lot, but again, like the rollouts are just there's something else. We get this one. Just kidding. The this putter timing seems to be affecting it a little more than the pro, which again makes sense. But I was not quite expecting it to affect it that much, to be honest. Absolutely pipe this drive. Three, just shy of 360. Um, so I'm thinking we got to do is really start. Yeah, see, that's what the tricky part is. Like, I want to increase the loft and spin on these okay. to keep it from rolling so much, but then the swing timing gets so much smaller. Man. There's just a lot of these putts that we usually see drop aren't dropping, which makes it tricky. But, like I said, I want to increase the loft and spin on these shots to reduce the rollouts we're having on these fast greens but that makes it so much trickier what do we have into this pin 230 up five inches i don't know if that means up five inches it's got to be more than that um we're gonna hit the hybrid though Kind of like this a lot, but again, this is going to roll so far past the pin to the other side of the green. But not much you can really do there with that wind uh, from the spot we were in. Hopefully we can lag this up near the pin. Not expecting this one to drop in. Um, we'll take that, have a tap in birdie. Look at you go. Twenty under now through twelve. Um, again, similar to last round, playing this out to the right a little more, avoiding those bunkers. Hopefully, um, we do avoid them, but it's solely because we split them. We're sitting at one forty-six to the pin. I might club up one more here. I think that might be the play. Play it over here. Hopefully, yeah, I really pulled my club. So we're not going to be able to get on the green. We'll have a, miss the green, a little bunker okay, shot here. Shot. Which I will not say I'm loving this shot at all. But we get it onto the green, and it somehow... I don't know what the green did there, but there was a vortex around the pin and it put us almost in the hole. So unbelievable out of the bunker from Clyde there. We're going to hit. So. It's 230. I feel comfortable hitting this. I think it's down a lot, even into the wind. We're downhill a lot, so that's pretty pretty solid. Very much a sloped putt coming our way. Uh, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, hopefully that holds its head. It does. It drops in. Got the, these, all these par threes are tricky, um, but I kind of, I'll be honest, I kind of like the the challenge. This course is offering right now. That's going to again miss out. We're going to have a similar shot as we did last hole or last round. Unfortunately for us, 
We don't have a lot of green to work with right now. Hopefully we can get that to sit. We do for the most part. I'll take that. Relatively simple putt here. We're in for the birdie. We are now sitting in fourth place. Two shots back from third. Uh, we're sitting at 157 to the pin. Downhill as well. I'm going to hit a... I don't know if pitching much is going to get there, but I'm going to hit it anyways. Let's get a little kick left here. It was a little shorter than I would have liked, but we're fine with that. All right, this is for the bird. Hopefully this falls in the hole, and it does. Nicely done. We gain a stroke on third place now, so we're now one back from them. Okay, tailwind blowing with us on this one. We got the driver, we got the downwind. We should be able to lay on this one pretty solid. We get it to go... 366. So we're 130 yards. Pitch isn't the worst idea here, I don't think. Put some loft. Spin on it. Get this. That's not where I wanted to miss at all. It's going to roll up. Oh, we might have got it far enough. We did. Luckily carried the, carried the down slope off the green. Have this to go into a tie for third going into round three. Not quite going to get there. It really rolled out. Here we go. Par putt coming up. Um, this looks about as straight as it gets. So we get it to drop. Sitting alone in fourth place. So we jumped. Huck. P.O. Have the 18th hole to try to make up that last stroke to get tied for third going into round three. Not sure why I thought we were on 18 last round, but the last hole, but that's okay, alright. About 215 yards or so to the pin. Gonna hit the four iron. This might be a little bit too much club, but gotta stay aggressive. Actually, this looks really good. It should roll out. Uh, it rolls off the green. Luckily, it didn't go down into the. The depths of who knows where down that little crack. But we get a good chip. End up sitting by the hole. So we get the stroke we needed to jump up to a tie for third. So we're sitting tied for third after two rounds. Um, honestly, I I'm. I'm, I'm a fan of this this community. Um, I like the I like everything about it. Um, obviously, there's going to be some a learning curve with the master rank as opposed to pro, which I'm used to playing on for ranked games, um, skins, stuff like that. But I mean, so we're seeing a tied for third, three shots back from second, eleven from first. Um, so pretty pretty happy with that those first two rounds um, let me know what you guys think about for one three click versus swing path obviously it's a pretty big debate in uh, in the community right now and also what you guys want to watch what do you want to see these community tournaments uh, whether you want to see the ranked matches or anything else in between random challenges we can do in like my career or random courses uh, let me know, though. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.